Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Keto Licious Nest. So today we're going to be making tiger shrimp mac and cheese. I'm doing dinners for uh, one of my customers. She's getting a pan of oxtails and yellow rice and tiger shrimp mac. So I figured why not go ahead and do this for y'all today. I will not be making low carb today, but if you ever want low carb, these aren't the elbow noodles, but this is the company, which is Great Low Carb. And they're on Amazon. So that's where you can get low carb noodles from. But today we're gonna be using regular elbow macaroni noodles, okay? So just let me go over the ingredients that you'll need real quick. You're gonna need elbow macaroni and cheese, heavy whipping cream. These are the cheeses that I use. I use Mexican cheddar, cheddar jack, which has uh, shredded cheddar and Monterey jack. I use Kobe jack, Italian style cheese, which is a blend, triple cheese blend, and of course, Gouda, okay? So I won't be using all of these packets um, for this one pan, but you know, these are the cheeses that I use. Plus, you want to add as much cheese that is good for you because everybody else, everybody's cheese level is different. Y'all know I don't measure, so you're just going to eyeball it. At least I got the ingredients for y'all. Uh, for the mac, you'll need uh, salt and pepper. I got uh, pink Himalaya salt. You'll need your tiger shrimp, which are, have already been cleaned. I just have to take the shells off. We have, um, this is the seasonings for the tiger shrimp. Salt, pepper, obey, I think this is onion, garlic powder, complete seasoning, um, adobo, accent, savion, I think that's how you say that. I probably said it wrong. And this is a dash fiesta lime. So these are my seasonings. I, I love to season. So you gotta season your food, but you can use whatever seasonings that you want. And you, of course, you need butter. So um, I'm going to finish doing this gravy really quick and put these oxtails together. Then I'll come back. I got water boiling right now for the um, noodles. So as soon as those get, um, the water starts to boil, I will be putting my noodles in there. So I'll come right back, but I just need to finish up this gravy and I'll be right back, y'all, very shortly. All right. I did want to tell y'all too, make sure you always salt your water. I always salt my water, okay? So. Very important. Okay, y'all. So hopefully y'all can see everything that I'm doing here really quick. I'm just going to take the shells off of these shrimp. And of course, my hands are already clean. So I always leave about four of them or three with a shell on so I can garnish the top with it. But you just simply just de-shell them just like that. And then we're gonna season these. These will be cooked separately and then we'll combine it with the mac once we get the mac together. So I hope everybody is doing good. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all, God is just so good. Today is Sunday. Today is just a good day. I got people putting in orders for food. So, I just want to tell y'all God is good <laughs> all the time. Yes, he always comes through when you least expect it. So, we're going to pack these dry a little bit. Y'all, I'm just zoning out in here on this Sunday. I got my music going. Of course, I can't play it while I'm on here. But yeah. I was just listening uh, to Tank <laughs> right before I had to pause it for y'all, okay? So we're just going to kind of put these out a little bit and just season them.
start my pan in the front and put in, I think I'm gonna just do a half a stick of butter for this. Good. I'm gonna let that melt down some, and we're still waiting on our noodle, noodle water to get a, to a bubble. Let me turn it up so so it can get started. We need this party to get started. So once that butter melts, we're gonna put these um, shrimp in there. I think I'm gonna just go ahead and mix them up here. And they look to be seasoned pretty good. May throw a little bit more seasoning on. And again, I don't measure y'all. I just season and cook. <laughs> so, sorry if I don't have any measurements for y'all, but so we're just gonna throw a little bit more complete on there. Put that up. A little bit more accent. A little bit more garlic powder and onion powder. Uh, and I'm gonna put a little bit more of this uh, Fiesta lime. Y'all, this is so good by Mrs. Dash. It gives your food such a great taste. So if you can find that, pick it on up. Right, I'm gonna leave the pepper out and the salt because we still gonna need that for our noodles and when we put everything together. I clean as I go, y'all. The good thing about when you cook, you have to stay organized or you're gonna be all over the place. So clean as you go, y'all. I'm telling you, it helps you out. And our butter is almost melted there. Let me wipe my counter off. Clean as you go, y'all. Clean as you go. <laughs> as y'all can see, the butter is melting in my pan. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw my shrimp in. And let them get the cooking. Shrimp, you don't have to do too much with them. Just put them in there and let them sit, turn pink, flip them over. Pretty simple. You don't have to worry about that. And meanwhile, I'm gonna turn my oven to 450. Actually, I might do 435 for my mac and cheese. Maybe 440. We're gonna put it on 440. Cause I'm using a little pan, so I don't want it to burn. This is my gravy back here, y'all, for my oxtails. I'm about to add the oxtails in here shortly. So just so y'all can see my oxtails. Ooh, do y'all see them bad babies? They've been cooking all night. So yummy. Oh, my goodness. I don't even want to give her these. <laughs> that fat meat, them gonna be good. I'll show y'all the finished product at the end, okay? I'll definitely show y'all the ending product at the end. Yes. So 
So as y'all can see, our shrimp are getting pink on one side. And we're just gonna start flipping these babies over. I might have to add a little bit more butter in here. If I had more shrimp, I would have put the whole stick, but I didn't think we need the whole stick. So I might just add just a tad bit more because you can see my pan in the middle is a little dry. But it's simple. You just saw them, getting them cooked so they can go in this scrumptious macaroni and cheese. It's gonna be so good. And y'all, you can see what time it is. What time is it? 2.40. And I haven't even eaten today. So, y'all see, I'm putting like one more tablespoon in there. Our water is almost ready for our um, shells to go in. Our elbow macaroni. Our oven is on. And I'm going to show y'all the pan. One second. Yeah. That we're gonna be using to put this pan. And I love these pans because they come with a lid. But this is the pan I'll be using. I got these at Dollar Tree. They're very hard to find though. But yeah, that's where I get them at. But it's very convenient. It has a, a nice top to it so that you can cover your meal after the fact. But you can put it right in the oven in here. So I'm gonna rinse this, get this cleaned out for this mac. Put them oxtails in this gravy and I'll be right back with y'all, okay? So as y'all can see, my shrimp are done. I don't wanna cook them too much because they're going in the oven as well. So, that's pretty much good. They all got a nice color to them. And these babies is gonna be so good. And my water isn't quite, it do have bubbles at the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and just start adding my noodles. I only had a little bit left in that box. So I went on and used that. And I always have too many noodles, y'all. So, I'm going to try to eyeball this. That's probably more than enough. That's that. So, you use however many noodles. You could tailor this to how many people, ever many people you're doing this for. And, I'm going to my noodles here. And I'm gonna probably take this shrimp off of the eye because I don't want it to keep cooking. And just stir your noodles up, y'all. Don't let them get sticky. And we're just gonna cook these till they get al dente, meaning just a, a soft enough that when they go in the oven, they can cook some more, okay? So we're gonna let those get soft. And let me just show y'all these oxtails real quick do y'all see that goodness back there man i'm ready to tear them things up and they not even mine <laughs> but she is gonna enjoy those right there mm, mm, mm. all right y'all we'll be back soon as so soon as these noodles uh get together i'm going to show you the next process okay Okay, uh, so our noodles are al dente. Um, go ahead, throw them in there. And I just add a little water just to cool the process down, the cooking down. And when I mean al dente, it should snap like that, okay? But still take a not a whole lot of force, but a little force. Just to uh sorry y'all, I'm picking up the noodles. So yeah, it should be a little force to breaking it apart. So that's how you know they're out there. 
pull y'all back over here so y'all can see this process. And again, y'all, I don't measure. Y'all already know that. So I kind of eyeball this when I'm doing this part. So first we're gonna put a stick of butter in here to start melting. Put in here while that's melting. So this is just a little cream cheese. As y'all can see, I'm just throwing a little in here. So maybe like a tablespoon and a half. Or just a tablespoon, maybe. Alright, so we're gonna let that melt down just a little. Y'all see, this stuff is starting to melt a little bit, and that's what you want. And then we're gonna start adding our heavy whipping cream and our cheeses, cause all of this is just gonna melt together. So I'm gonna say that's probably about a cup and a half, and we're gonna add more as we go, maybe two cups. We'll just use all the rest of that. And as you go and your cheese needs to melt and the, you want it to get to the consistency that you want, you're going to uh, add more heavy whipping cream. Remember, you can't take out, but you can add. So just be mindful of that. So I'm gonna just start adding my cheese. This is some of the Cheddar Jack I had left in the fridge. So I'm going to add that first. And I'm sure I'll be putting more of that. And this is some of the Triple Jack that I already had in the fridge. I mean, Triple Cheddar, y'all. So I'm just getting that out the way. And this is the Kobe Jack. This is the Italian. I do less of the Italian and the um, Gouda and more of the other three. And this is our Gouda. The Gouda is very strong, so. You know, it's a strong cheese. You get you get a strong flavor from it. And this is a little bit more of that triple cheddar. All right. And maybe a tad bit more Mexican. You're going to tailor how much cheese you use to the serving size that you're doing. The pan that I'm making is about for four servings, maybe a little more and as you see it's bubbling that's what you want it to do and you want this to melt and incorporate all together and i'm sure i'll be adding more cheese to this and add salt and pepper and i'm sure i'm gonna add more but this is just to start me off. And once this cheese kind of melts the way I need it to, I'm going to add my noodles to it and then add whatever else I need to it. Again, this is my process, y'all. Everybody may do theirs different, but this is how I do mine. Somebody asked, so I'm just delivering. Delivering the goods. And you want to watch it. Oh, I got that up kind of high. Because you don't want your cheese to burn. But as you can see, 
is coming together. And I'm definitely gonna have to add a little bit more whipping, heavy whipping cream to this. But this is how I like to get it, at least to get it started. And then I add my noodles. Just blend, get it all in there, y'all. See how it's getting coated. And you're going to taste this, even though these not the noodles I'm supposed to be eating. I'm going to have to taste it. Hopefully that don't mess with my keto journey. Ma'am, forgive me if you see that. See this? That's my keto coach. And I'm definitely going to add a little bit more cheese to that. And I'm opening up some more heavy whipping cream. Just to give it a dab. This is a little bit more Mexican. Yeah, y'all see that? That's what you wanted to do. Right there. All blend together. But as that cheese is going to get a little thicker. So that's when you're going to add more heavy whipping cream. But remember, a little at a time. Because you don't want it to get too thick. I'm going to salt this some more. Add some more pepper. It's starting to look really good, y'all. It smells so good in this kitchen right now. I can't even begin to tell y'all how good it smells. Mm, mm, mm. Whew. So let me get something to try this really quick. I know I'm going to need more salt and pepper. I can look at it and tell. Mmm. But you like to taste it in between. It may not need more salt. Because I'm giving this to somebody else, I, they could salt it more. But I'm definitely going to add maybe a pinch and more pepper. But the cheese consistency tastes really good. And remember, I'm adding more cheese to the top when we put this in the oven. I'm just putting a dab because to hers, I'm also going to add bacon bits to the top, y'all. I don't know if y'all ever had bacon on y'all mac and cheese, but it's actually scrumptious. I'm actually going to turn this off, y'all. Let me taste it one more time. One more again. Mmm. Yep. That's it right there. And we're going to add this into our pan, y'all. So let me add, put my rice together back here, and we're going to come back, and we're going to put this pan this up, okay? All right, y'all. So I'm going to add my rice. 
right, y'all. So this is the last process. You see, I got my um, shrimp that I saute. They're down in the bottom of the pan looking delicious. I got all the little bits of gooeyness in there as well. And we're just gonna start adding this in here. Our mac and cheese is nice and cheesy. Y'all see that? Mm, mm, mm. Lord, I love food. <laughs> I love food so much. And if it's too much, I'm going to add it to another little pan and probably give that to the kids. I always make too much macaroni for this pan. Always have leftovers. But I make sure that my customers have what they want. All right, so that's that, y'all. Then I'm going to add some Kobe to the top. Trying not to tear this bag the wrong way. Just want to coat the top. Because this is going to be that goodness on the top. I hope my head is in there. Because <laughs> I look like I'm a little further up than I was before. So, But what y'all need to see is the food anyway. And then I'm just going to add some bacon bits to the top. And I'm going to come over there so y'all can see this product. That's it. Voila. And this is going in the oven on 440 until it's bubbly and good. And I'm definitely putting a pan up under here because I don't want it to spill. So that is how you make tiger shrimp mac, y'all. Anyway. If y'all have any questions on how to make this mac, make sure you leave them down in the comments. If you're in the Cleveland area and you want to purchase a pan, go hit me up on Keto Licious Nest. Keto Licious Nest. Keto Licious underscore Nest on Instagram and DM me. And we can get it popping. I wish I could mail this to y'all. I would. <laughs> I would. Eventually, they may have that available, though. So, this is a pan of Mac for the twins when they come home. And I'm going to just put that on her, on here with her pan. Actually, it can stay in there by itself. So, I'll be back, y'all, with the finished product. These three over here. We'll be going on the top of that when it comes out. And that's how you make tiger shrimp mac. So I'll be back with the friend with the finished product as soon as it comes out the oven, y'all. Alright. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. This is my finished product. Oxtails and gravy, homemade gravy, yellow rice, and tiger shrimp mac. My customer really enjoyed it. And boy, do I wish I had it right now. Mm, mm, mm. Until next time, y'all. Keep it key delicious. Love y'all. Bye.